board supervisors say the resources budgeted for this year were not used correctly by the Dane County District Attorney's Office. And now two more positions may be cut after a vote by the committee. Our Valina Jones spoke with the DA who's defending his office and says he needs more resources. Valina? Well, DA Ishmo Ozan is hoping to keep these positions and wants to work with the county board to resolve these issues. But the county committee says he has already had a year to utilize the resources, which they said did not meet their expectations. We have to do something about the disproportionate number of people of color in the criminal justice system. To do that, County Board Supervisor Paul Rusk says the board added two paralegal positions last year to the district attorney's office to help send more people ages 17 to 25 with misdemeanor cases through the restorative court system to avoid a criminal record. That restorative court is tremendously underutilized. We are never going to get anywhere in Dane County unless we divert misdemeanors and lower level crimes out of the traditional um, justice system. Instead, Rusk says the positions were used to do other work. Numbers provided by the DA's office to the committee show the paralegals have handled almost a thousand cases in the past year. Out of that number, only 21 have been referred to the CRC program. That program has seen a total of 108 cases in two and a half years. That's ridiculous. That's way too low. Dane County Ishmael Ozan tells News 3 that 21 cases is, quote, a good chunk of what they received. Last week, he called a shortage of staffing in his office a public safety emergency. He says now he'll work with the county board to work through these issues and is still hoping for three prosecutors in the budget. He agrees there's a shortage in the office, but says his timing was wrong. The district attorney didn't hold press conferences during the state budget process, um, declaring a public safety emergency and urging the governor and legislature to fund the positions that our state employees in his office. I think that would have been a good idea. Parisi says the pressure from the DA's office should be directed towards the state. In a report to county supervisors, DA Ozan said, quote, faced with increased volume, the office needs the resources required to maintain these commitments. Ozan tells me in the last couple of weeks, he has implemented a new system to flag people who would qualify for this program. Now, this decision is not final. The board will approve their budget at the end of the month. We'll keep an eye on where it goes. Valina Jones in studio. Valina, thank you.